Lovex Rock Station, 94.5 FM. Max Kelly West on the Rock Show. And you brought a friend to work today, right? I didn't bring a friend. Uh-huh. She's not just my friend. Right. She is my other work wife. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're you're my old work wife, and she's my young work wife. Right. Does she have a name? Her name is Miss Sydney Kessler. Hi, Sydney. What's going on? Hey, guys. I'm so excited to be here. This is my very first time on the radio. I've always wanted to do this, so... Get ready for me to say probably a lot of weird things. There okay, you go. all right, here we go. So is Kelly nice to you at work? Relatively, I mean we're work wives. So Does she we ever get bring into you chocolates? What I'm saying. Oh, so they bring you I bring her all the things. <laughs> <laughs> all the I did it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, so let's have fun. You guys, girls, host a happy, fun time, easy bake oven Saturday morning show. What's going on there? You got a magic broom? What's happening? Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, we dub ourselves the weekend trolls because when we mm-hmm. roll up on into the studio at 3 a.m. on a Saturday and Sunday, you yeah. do not want to see what that looks like. Right. Oh, no. Uh, and one of those myths that people believe that we have somebody else that does our hair and makeup. No, that's all me and Sid. We do our own hair and makeup. Sometimes we do each other's hair and makeup. And thank goodness we do, too, because, again, like she said, weekend trolls when we walk in there at 3 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. So we're really just kind of crawling yeah. our way in. Just definitely not the prettiest sight at 3 no. a.m. And you're not, <laughs> you're not from around these parts either. No, grew up, born and raised in the Chicago suburbs. Are, so. you, are you mobbed up? Uh, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> when I'm there, you know, I have to go check in again. So I guess it was your dream when you were growing up in the suburbs of Chicago to come to Lubbock, Texas, right? Oh, it was. You know, grew up saying, Lubbock, Texas, I'm on my way. <laughs> actually, actually, before I came here to Lubbock for my interview, I had never been to Texas before. Yeah. So coming into Lubbock, Texas and seeing the cotton and the cowboy hats, everything, I was like, this is is exactly what I was expecting. You know, it's funny, yeah. it yeah. is funny when you come to Texas. Half of what you see, you go, yep. And then the other half, you know, it is a little bit modern in some places. Sure, sure. Or really weird in others. Right. So uh, what do you guys do? Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I I, I am uh, out doing things while you guys are on. I haven't caught you yet. I got to set the DVR. What do you do? Yeah. So on KCBD News Channel 11 on mm-hmm. Saturdays and Sundays, right. Sydney and I are live on 8 a.m. from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Daybreak Saturday, Daybreak oh, Sunday. That's a, that's a whole hour. S- Sydney is whole actually hour. the one that will give you the news. She'll make sure that you're up to speed with what's currently going on around town right. as well as the state and the world. And then, of course, I will bring you your local forecast and make sure that we bring the rain when we can. Okay, now, is there any cheese thrown on your show? Uh, We don't throw cheese at each other, Mm -hmm. (laughs) so to speak, but sometimes... Sometimes we have to throw things at each other because I, I I tend to go over. I'm Captain Go Over, and I miss my cues to shut up. All right. So got, a I, lot of people don't realize that, you know, even though I'm the anchor of the show, I'm also the producer. So everything oh. that you hear, I've written and pulled from the show. Mm-hmm. We pick all the graphics and the videos, so I'm also the one. So we get timing. to blame everything on yes, you. Yes, ex- exactly. Well, listen, I got a question for you right here. I got a question for you because this uh, is very sure. applicable to uh, your job and your uh, origins in Chicago. <sighs> Have you ever heard of a town that has more cars driving into houses than Lubbock, Texas? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, no, I know you are. And honestly, no, I haven't. I, When I first came here and I heard of my first car into house, I was really surprised. And I, you know, we sent everyone out there, went out there. And now I'm about a little over a year and a half in. And it's like, okay, that's Every Another day. Monday. Do you guys? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's it's weird that that doesn't. It's not even necessarily the headline that day no. because it happened so often. Happened again last night. Uh, how do you say that? Kawani Avenue. Yes. When, when the hell did Lubbock turn into Hawaii? Come on. Uh, we had a oh truck gosh. roll up in a house. Actually, I think pinned that's a an guy. Indian name, but okay. Uh, I do like to scare Sydney though because we do a little segment on the program called "What Do You Think?" Yeah. And of course, mm-hmm. as Sydney mentioned, she produces the show, so she picks these stories. And I can remember one of the first ones. She was talking about these hogs running wild. These you know feral <laughs> hogs. Yeah, running you don't wild get that and, in Chicago, in Abilene, and you know she was saying, "Oh, look at how cute!" And and I mentioned that I knew some West Texas boys that would take care of that problem real quick and her face looked so shocked and she could not believe that i would say something like that she she said oh we're gonna get all kinds of hate mail for for being mean to the animals no no and i said oh sid you're in texas now honey you can actually rent a helicopter to do that in texas yeah
Love X Rock Station, 94.5 FMX. Kelly OS on the uh, Rock Show. And our guest today, Sydney Kessler from News Channel 11. She works with Kelly on yes. the weekends. Now, one of the things that kind of reminded us, hey, we wanted to get that girl on the air, was you wrote a very, very nice article on watching out for motorcycles. Does this come from a personal experience thing, or are you just like, ah, I got to write something? You know, Wes, from the time I started doing news a long time ago, I have covered so many awful accidents that involve motorcycles. And when I got on the road the other day and it was a beautiful day out, I saw so many on the road. And the only thing I could think about was how can we get these guys and gals safe on the road? So I kind of wanted to do a little article about watching out for them before, you know, the season kicks into high gear. Well, I like the fact that you do it because, uh, you know, that's kind of the audience that kind of needs to be told. My, my audience is the motorcycle. Cycle riders. Right. All right. We need the other people to know. And you're coming to us from Chicago, right? Yes. Is it, sir, weird, born and raised. is it weird coming to Texas? You know, it is a little different. One of the biggest things that I've noticed, though, is the Texas pride, as I was telling you a little bit ago. You know, you see so many people here with a tattoo of the Texas outline on their arm or the yeah. Texas flag. Let me tell you, you will never see someone with the outline of Illinois. On their <laughs> I don't know that I could draw Illinois. Could you draw Illinois? Hell, it would be hard for me to even point to it if yeah. I didn't know where it was on the other map. I don't even think I could spell it. There's extra vowels in there. As long as you don't say Illinois. Yeah. That's right. what I think. Now, you work with Kelly on the weekend, right? And yes, sir. I, and so I have a very important question for you. I'm ready. Uh, Kelly called me ugly. Said I look like Frankenstein, Humpty Dumpty, no. and Uncle Fest. No. Hey, I have a question for her, okay? And called me ugly. Oh, no. I now, know. I want to know no. if this kind of bullying behavior is allowed in News Channel 11, or is this something personally that she does? Do you guys do this? Does she call you ugly? Wes, I, I have some bad news for you. I think this might be a personal attack. Uh, Listen. See? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. You're Wait, the, no, 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 no. My, no, my no. guest like answered the question. No. You're, over here. you're the Wi-Fi batter. <laughs> She's the one that I cuddle with. Oh. Lubbox Rock Station, 94.5 FMX. Kelly and Wes on the Rock Show. Our guest this morning, Sydney Kessler, who is on TV with Kelly. Yes, both of my work wives in the same room. Is it Saturdays and Sundays? Saturdays and both. Sundays. Sydney is on KCBD News Channel 11 throughout the week, but right. she and I are the stars of the show from 8 to 9 on Saturday and Sunday. All right, get a you, whole hour trusted to us. And you're uh, <laughs> coming to us all the way from Chicago. We're importing the newscasters Yeah, the these wind days. blew her in. And, uh, <laughs> man, that had to be some kind of culture shock coming to town. It, it really was a little bit of a culture shock because, as I told you a little bit earlier, you know, the first time I ever came to Texas was for my interview. Yeah. And then the next time I came to Texas, I moved here. Yeah. So, and you know, one of the first things I noticed was if anywhere else in the world they're missing big white trucks, yeah. West Texas has found them all. <laughs> We've got them all. We got the market cornered on those right there. You got them all. And I don't understand with the dust and the wind, why do you pick white? I maybe I have no idea actually. That's a pretty good question. <laughs> yeah, you I would think everybody pick a dirt colored truck. Maybe it's so we can be seen. Uh, probably Let's or go with blend that. in. You know, right. nobody wants to stand out, so they all pick the same color. Right, and, and I couldn't help notice you're one of them little people. Now, how does mm -hmm. this work? If I catch you by the toe, I win a gold chain or something. <laughs> well, is, you know, is that how it is? You know, that's one thing that a lot of people <laughs> will tell me when they see me off camera. They'll right. look at me. I, for a fun fact, I'm only five feet tall, five foot and a quarter inch, and that quarter inch means a lot when you're only five. Five feet tall. Right. One of the first things people tell me, they look at me and they're like, well, I didn't know you were so short. Uh -huh. Right, exactly. Like <laughs> yeah, you go, go home each day and make cookies in a tree. Well, and one of those behind the scenes <laughs> facts is I tend to walk around the studio with my socks while yeah. Sydney's in heels. So we sort of offset the height difference there. Do you actually wear your socks when you're doing your cast oh, or is yeah. that just when you're casual? Oh, no. I oh, no. do it in a dress, in my socks. And Aren't you afraid you'll slip? No, in fact, I get more traction that way than I would with a, you know, dress shoe that could slip on that tile. But yeah, I've been seen on Facebook Live. Uh, we have a couple of anchors that like to pick on me and show my socks on Facebook do you Live. Do, do you do stuff like that too? Weird stuff like that? Oh yeah, totally. You know, usually I like to wear heels because it does give me that height, but yeah. I mean, you never see our feet. Uh, so. They don't make heels that big. <laughs> but you know, I usually will <laughs> wear not socks You're fooling with anybody, the young lady. It's not happening. It gives me three whole inches. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, God. All right, no. let's move on. <laughs> Once again, tell everybody when they can see you on TV. NBC 8 to 9 on Saturday and Sunday, Daybreak is going to be where you can find Sydney and I giving you the news and the weather. All right, so then. Early tomorrow morning. Join us there.